Right, hello everybody, welcome to Too Spooky For Me, game number four now, I believe, against some vamps. They might have a lot of skills here, 1160. Could have built, this. my team's built pretty badly with it, all the positionals. He's got leader, is that leader or sure hand? I don't even know what that is. Is this leader? This looks like a leader. Yeah. So he's got four rerolls, four vamps. Sage would not approve of that. Only one dodge, a block. Yeah, so that's so he's basically got two rookie vamps, which isn't wasn't great for him, is it? Three one one, decent record, especially with vamps. Um well how many skills have I got one skill? Block. Oh no, two sexist bones obviously. Two two skills. And the rest is just uh bloat with these bloody uh these fleshies and a reserve. <laughs> yeah, six is bones. <coughs> It's like having he's got hidden mighty blow, hasn't he? So that's that's the start straight away. Yeah, I'm not a fan of leader on vampires. Um when you've got a player that can get general agility and strength and become really good. Like you want to stack as many skills as you can on a six four four eight chassis, don't you? You know, without starting with any skills. In the same way as you want to st stack as many stats as you can on a war dancer. Um, you want to stack as many skills as you can in a vamp and stats to be fair so giving one up for leader seems shocking uh, no fashbinder the, uh, the best coaches on fumble tend to go dodge dodge first and then block and then sometimes pro <laughs> yeah just ignore it just ignore it you don't need a double do you you're already like you're getting everything you want like it's funny because people roll doubles for vamps and like take pass or leader or whatever but if they got general agility passing every time they roll the double they'd take a strength skill <laughs> and if they got general strength passing every time they roll the double they take an agility skill and if they got strength agility passing every time they roll the double they take a general skill so um, it seems a bit silly I could sur no I couldn't surf I could cut on a, what's it called um, quick snap I could put the flesh golem the flesh golem in there and surf him on a on a quick snap but not gonna go for that. I've got my piece of paper saying don't go for sex. Squirrel dude's the eternal sub now, I'm sorry squirrel dude. Maybe go for a three dice with him and a two dice on a pump with him. Mm, no, he's gonna have to put the vamp. He's only got one block, so not having block isn't so bad there. <laughs> I didn't I didn't write that no Nolly. But look it's paid off. It's already paid off. Don't try for surfs. Because he's got the blitz. So 
Instant payoff. I'm not going for surfs. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, piece of paper, for not going for a surf. <laughs> I'll just put all my players over here in case of a quick snap. I mean, it was really asking a lot. To be fair, that was like asking a lot for that. To get, to get a quick snap. If he goes all man's, he's going to get wrecked, though, isn't he? He's going to get, like... He, he, what he's probably going to do, he's probably going to try and... Uh, gaze the fleshy. Blitz the uh, zombie, and then run through. But then he can't. So, maybe f gaze the fleshy, blitz the wolf. Something like that. Maybe they'll just ignore it. Could maybe he could uh, he could run around with the other van to gaze the, could blitz the zombie, gaze the uh, white, and then run through that way. Gives, gives this one, this is this is the way of doing it. He blitzes there with block. Bums Valera. Gazes him. And then one, two, oh, I would hit from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gaze from there. And then he goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Double GFI starts with a ball and dodge. Using his block skill there very cleverly. Um, I like that play there. Interesting strategy, but um, if you look at Sage's guide, he'll, he'll often tell you to uh, to just choose to not use a both down when you have block, and your opponent doesn't. Pretty good strat. Ah yes, and then and then a dodge for no reason, because he realises he's blocking his way. He's gonna go for the four plus, the four plus four three plus or something. No, four plus two plus three plus two plus the GFI. Oh. Like he wasn't going to make the second dodge. I love it when people do the first dodge, but he's going to start the he's going to start the half still. So I mean, he did he did almost what I said, but he did it worse. I wonder if he's watching. And that was just because he hit from the wrong square. He could just hit from this square, couldn't he? I wonder if he's watching, because he fucked it up that badly. It makes you wonder if he had the thought himself, doesn't it? If he runs out of time, does he not have to bite? That would be a dirty strategy, wouldn't it? Brilliant, he starts down a player. He didn't even catch it, what the fuck? What planet is this? Did it. This fucking game, man, not letting you select players. Claw, not bad. You can assist now, can't you?
gotta gotta make the hit. Where did where's the other flesh? Oh yeah, he just assisted. All right, gotta gotta make the Sextus block first. Oh man, that would have been a failed pickup. Glorious. He just has to recover. Well, made one break on AB7, but still, it's annoying in it to knock over two of them and not, not do anything. Don't want to risk the one in nine before the ball. I guess could just go out of range of the vamps. Which is all the way back to there. could base the ball how far can he get so this all he could do is run through and base and then could surf him anyway nice one Viragard feels pretty stiff about that block Man, he could have just caught it and I could have not knocked him over. He could have based he could have based the flesh golem. And the wolf, maybe, couldn't he? I mean He could have he could have based up the wolves and stuff. Um to do things. This is planet free win. <laughs> It was, a, it was a mythical game, 30 TV advantage. He bought a Bloodweiser babe, so technically a TV disadvantage, but you know, so close that it doesn't matter. Now, I think he should have based people up really with his with his players. Once he, now he did the Tyrion Halfmans a bit, didn't he? He left some players not based. So, but if he based everyone and done what he'd done. I wouldn't have hated it. Following that vampire, but <laughs> it's uh, it's early to go down men's, isn't it? Might be a little bit tricky, but can always just punch people, can I? I guess I want to get in there. As fucking rudged as it is against vampires, to just jump in the middle of them all.
two, three, four. And just blitz with him. And then put a few guys there. Just blitz with him, eh? He bloodlusted once, didn't he? Uh, he did the KO with a bloodlust. So. He's on one out of four. One out of eight, sorry. It's not really an anti-gaze formation, no. Um, no, because he's got... He can just four plus gaze it, can't he? To crack it or whatever. Shouldn't say it, I think he's watching. So like he can gaze, but if he does gaze and he pops it, the chance of it going well for him isn't that high, I don't think. I don't think there really is a an anti gaze formation. You just got to uh, like. Cramming a lot of players is good so that they can't, uh, they've got to do it in the tackle zone. And obviously, if you can, like, layer the cage, that's good. But with the blitz, I didn't really get the chance to, uh, to set it up exactly how I'd like. And with him being in contact. <sighs> Bastard. Don't hurt my doggy. That was a nice move, wasn't it? This is might go really bad. Yeah, nine man box, yeah, oh, there you go. There you go. That's what happens. That's what happens when you get a wolf blocked. Brilliant. Obviously. So far the wolves have been blocked something like three times and have been KO'd twice and killed once. Yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? <laughs> now it's classed as being diced to death. And it's just stupid, isn't it? That's Blood Bowl, isn't it? It's a fucked up game. Just quietly.
<laughs> yeah, it probably is, to be fair. <sighs> now I can lure some bad guys and lose. Live in the dream. Blocking a million thralls leads to nothing, and him KOing thanks to Bloodlust. Him making one block on a wolf leads to death and probable loss. He could bitch, then it gets him away from the tackle zones, doesn't it? Fuck it up, it should have been here. Fuck's sake. Well, there you go, I made a mistake. Time for the inevitable loss after making a mistake. Should have been here, shouldn't he? But then that's just that's just super easy. I mean, it's super easy. It gives him anyway. But he, it really looks exposed if he's there. But he should have been there. Ah, he's filled the bloodlust. <laughs> At least his re-roll's gone. Can I even have a break? Doesn't look like it, does it? <laughs> Stunned the vampire in turn one, which, well, <laughs> that had blitzed and nearly caught the ball. That was, that's about the only armor break, really. I think that's the only armor break of the game so far. After he's going essentially all mans with AV7 and without block. Ah, yep, he's failed a bloodlust. <laughs> He can break AV for me. <laughs> yeah. He did the right block there, didn't he? Because uh, on a pow. <laughs> it would have just been a 2 plus dodge. I don't know, it's weird because he, he made like, a, he's made some mad moves, but then some quite good ones. Could really do another blodge of this game, eh? F 
fantastic how <laughs> jump to us. He hasn't got a reel, he could just fail that, couldn't he? Just double pattern. Just taunting, okay, the blood, the blood wouldn't matter. Break AV as well, obviously, no? Wow. Yeah, it's odd. He's played. He's played mostly well. He's just done a few suspect things. Hmm. All right. So I need to pal him. And then one, two, three, four, GFI to there to get the ball. Fucking hell. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, no, there's that guy there. I didn't see him. All right, so he's he's got to get powered first. One dice him. Oh no. Activate him. One dice him. Powering him would have been nice. <laughs> Isn't going to freed him up. Can't free him up. One dice blocking him doesn't even do anything. I guess I'm gonna have to dodge out the goal. So do I dodge out the ghoul then blitz with a wolf? Or at least herp dirt base 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 with a wolf? I guess I've got a herp dirt base base base. Getting, getting a blitz against vamps isn't good, is it, to be fair? Ball down and no balls, did. <laughs> yes, it's okay. every. I mean, it's Woody's, isn't it? Woody's, I guess, is the only one that doesn't require you to move players. I guess. Please don't kill him. Hmm. 
what I'd like the most would be just a team that when they lost it only takes five minutes to lose you know that would be the best that would be the dream instead of a team that when it's lost it takes an hour and a half to lose But this is the problem with Necro, isn't it? Is that zombies are shit. And it's why I always start with... You know, I always like like thinking with starting with ghouls is a good idea. And I just don't understand. Like, I'd always run ghouls. I don't understand people who only run one or two... Like, one, two or, ze one or zero ghouls. To me, it's just fucking stupid. Because zombies are fucking awful. They're just fucking awful. Like, three on the LOS are good. But when things go badly... They're just shit, aren't they? They're just proper, proper shit. Make sure you activate him to get another armor seven player blocked. One, two, one, two, three, four. Double GFI at the one dice. If he dodges out first, and goes one, two, three, four, five GFI, and if he dodges out, which he can't. One, two, three, four. Double GFI. Yeah, well, why the hell not? That's a remarkable turn of not failing. <laughs> he injured his thrall at least with a bloodlust. <laughs> but yeah, when you get blitzed on and uh, they block a wolf and kill him, and you block a hundred fucking thralls and do nothing, it's, it's tough, isn't it? With two dice on the ball with, with both pals. So even if it had the bludger, it wouldn't have mattered in the end. Nice wood looks. Come on, double one, double one the dodge. Oh, that would have been sweet. Ah, cast himself.
That's a good pine pseudonym, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the pro tip. <laughs> yeah, you can't win them all. It's just, you know, it's just a shame, isn't it, to have your, your team dying on Champs Ladder, that's the thing. But, uh, I don't know, I'm just going to go full loop back after this and uh, make a Chaos team, play 42 games, and I'm just going to do that every season. And that will be my tilted Champs Ladder. And, uh, you know... Don't try anything more than that. No, oh, a Kaz after he's turned us over <laughs> and got the ball completely safe. Apple fail though. Gets a gets a reserve. That's good. Um. Four plus for the for the one dice. Or just punch him and then go for him. Just punch. This is getting thralls away from him, isn't it? He's got no thralls in front of the bounce now, so if he lusts, he's got to re-roll it. I know he's got three turns in a re-roll, but still. Um, I can't re-roll this, and it's really bad if it fails. One dice into an uphill. I just got to go over it, haven't I? No point just standing watching. <laughs> Got claw, let's go. Yeah, crazy Lima, I would say I would say someone mentioned it the other day. Um Thank you, Fistful of Steel and Ducky. Um, you can still win this game if you play like <laughs> Sage. Just think to yourself, what would Sage do? And then you will surely be victorious. <laughs> it's a good point. Thank you, Sudon. Um, yeah, Will King, I am. Yeah. Um, somebody somebody mentioned that in the uh, yesterday. Oh, well, not yesterday, Tuesday. They said about that. Just it always works. And yeah, I think it's a fine idea. I think what you need for more casual players is more level and rapid star player point game. Which uh, I used his reroll on that on that bloodlust. Um, now if he bloodlusts, he just can't score. He's got. Why did he use his last reroll? What a fucking idiot. Like, you know, that's just that's just terrible. That's just terrible play. Why why re roll that? No need. Now he's got no if he if he wands on the last turn. 
Well, 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 he's got. Well, he's got two turns. Does he activate him? I guess he has to activate on turn seven. He's about thirty percent of not score now. That's why you just don't fucking fritter away a reroll on an irrelevant thing. You know, you know that he like he knows that he's got a good chance of not having a a fucking thrall back. You know, for the if he scores a one, I mean, I guess he just scores on turn seven, right? I guess he just tries to score on turn seven. That is that is his play. He tries to score on turn seven, but fucking mad cunt. <laughs> I pitched. <laughs> yeah, um, Powers me fucking. Powers my ultimate zombie first, though, doesn't he? But that's still, that's still two dice on the ball, isn't it? And surfing him. In fact. <laughs> so. I just need a Knorring threat. Oh no, he's bloodlusted. I thought he'd failed the bloodlust. Uh, but one dice on the ball maybe maybe one dice on the ball maybe two dice one two three four GFI GFI maybe two dice on the ball with a dodge It'll, yeah if he bloodlust next turn then he'll have to run back won't he um, but if he doesn't bloodlust he'll just score I can't believe you were fucking wrong. I can't believe you've done this. Obviously, he's just going here. The one dice surf is on, though, isn't it? Holy shit. Right, canoring threat. Let's fucking go. That was a nine that he made them GFIs without a reroll. Because he could have made that two dice with GFIs. One, two, three, four, G five, G five, no. Dodging or one dice isn't even bad now, is it? Oh, baby. <laughs> that was bad play by him. You can't put your guy too away from the sideline when there's a wolf right there, can you? <laughs> well, hell, he might be able to just fucking get the ball and score, but never mind. I kind of feel like I want to stay there. Ugly bastard. Hmm. So it's, it's not that easy. Anyway. He hasn't got a reroll, so it's not even easy to get two dice on him. Oh man. Imagine being able to live the dream next turn for the touchdown. Make a dice roll. Ha <laughs> ha! He failed the dice roll. Get fucked. <laughs> oh my god. And there's only one man. There's only one man to hit the air. Uh, to clear the tackle zone, isn't there? 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't make it three dice. But can hit with block. Now oh, because I could have three dice with uh, with a fleshy. But come on, I'm not gonna. Am I? Not what I can get him with Sexus bones. Right, he's got to turn left. So. Um, I guess base him. I might have made it longer by fucking going there. That was a bad place to stand, wasn't it? There to screen off. Oh, they're just to base him. I screen. He's probably. I don't know. He's probably better going for it with a vamp, isn't he? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I guess screen it off. Did I fuck it up putting him there? We're about to find out. No, I didn't. Is it better to GFI or not without a reroll? I can't work it out. I can't get fucking thingy on. What is it? Long pass is a five plus, isn't it? So it's a five plus three plus, or it's a two four three. Is GFI better without a reroll? Thanks everybody. Like instinctive, my instinctive reaction was yes, it's always better to make one GFI, but with re-rolls, um, it's sometimes better to make two GFIs to drop it by one. Sometimes. That was disappointing, wasn't it? That would have been amazing, holy shit. Nah, it's better to GFI. Hardback. With re-rolls it's definitely... Uh, the G more rolls is better when you've got re-rolls. 100%. More dice rolls is better when you've got re-rolls. Still got 11 thanks to the raised dead. Hmm. And now he's got what? 3, 6, 9. Alright. Telling me there's a chance. Put one slow, one fast on that side. Alright, this could be interesting, couldn't it? Half a chance.
Yeah, the dead wolf sucks. And it was one with block. Fuck's sake. Yeah, it was a vamp that stayed out, so yeah, that's good. So you never know, I might be able to get a cheeky 1-0. Oh yeah, Sexton's bones could be a werewolf, couldn't it? Because he likes bones, because he eats them. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's so far, he's, he's caused he's caused the, the, a KO and a Kaz to himself. <laughs> and his, his apple's gone. Arnu's 3 plus for those KOs. So actually, one staying out pretty good. Yeah, I, I don't. It's kind of easy peasy suit on him. I, I think it's much harder on offense for vampires than it is on defense for. Ooh, like obviously, losing the wolf is huge, and the ghoul. Like lost a lot of the movement, which sucks. Oh man, lucky bastard rolling the one in nine with his block. <laughs> yeah. 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 Effectively did did I call it and just failed. Getting a blurry screen, it should be alright. Like it's not it's not the best quality because I only have I only have the graphics on high. Um, on medium maybe even. But it shouldn't be so bad. Ah yeah, but obviously he blocks he blocks with a block guy first, but it's just kind of annoying that he gets the he gets it like you no, know, he could have rolled the one in nine with a vampire, couldn't he? Jutsi Dudek, where was he from? Got a wolf blitz the vamps if I can, haven't I? And then just block the uh <laughs> Yeah, absolutely suit on him. Absolutely. Oh man, gotta mend him, haven't I? I gotta mend him. I gotta mend him with a um, with a safety. He's got a guy stunned, so he's only got eight players. Wait, did he only have eight anyway? No, three, six, eight. He's got eight players against 10 for this turn could put strength 4 on strength 4 and if I could just blitz him down So he can't get the cyst there. Hmm. 
Should have blitzed the fucking throttle, shouldn't I? Would have gone down. Let's just keep him there. Nah, maybe should have put him on the fleshy diagonally and then moved him out of there, but still. He's in a bit of a bind, isn't he? Some basing. Some herb dirt basing basing. Yeah, Jersey do like the Liverpool goalkeeper, yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go, just open your turn with a one dice pal. Standard. That's what you do when you get pissed. Herb Derp, oh yeah, Herb Derp doesn't work anymore. <laughs> All these sick fucks that love to get the next bit. Um, yeah, they are just, I think they're meant to be uh, like, you know, kind of hypnotised by the vamps, aren't they? That kind of idea. He's just gonna, he's gonna potato. Of course he gets the knockdown. <laughs> Not good enough, buddy. <laughs> yeah, hope dirt base 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 I need. <coughs> oh fuck it up. I need to uh, get that back on done. I'll put I'll put hope dirt back on right now. Sound effects. Herb dirt, base, 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 this won't fail, I'm on the rig. Here you go. There's, there's the herb dirt. Back. <laughs> he doesn't realise. He's probably typing in chat. It's bugged! <laughs> oh shit, sorry. I am somewhat dying, yes. Yeah, man. Oh, there you go. See, I base once in the entire in the entire match. I decide to go for a full man's instant removal. He all mans us for the entire half, and basically, if he didn't knock his own guys out, fuck all would have happened. Come on, fail the armor roll. Get get knocked out on the fail dodge. That would be outstanding. Like a young Burt Reynolds. No, of course not. Hmm. Might be a good idea to help to base the ball, eh? Two dice into one dice. 
But it would make him hard to get the, uh, the pass off next turn. Alright, let's go. Easy one day on the ball. I never, I never saw that TLC. Um, but I might have gone for it if I'd seen it. That was good, wasn't it? Getting the zombie blitz instead of the wolf. Yeah, at least I can't punch the ball. I mean, let's do double base. He might just fucking punch that wolf, though, mightn't he now? Free up that wolf, uh, free up the wolf, free up the freshy, if it's possible. That'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? And you can easily free up the wolf. That doesn't do that much. Good thing is that the pass option isn't that isn't that terrifying due to the weather, isn't it? Hmm. Do you see, it appears to have just voluntarily <laughs> fucked his own ass. If this is a pow, then could go, and this is a pow, one, two, three, four, need a GFI, and uh, it's not going to work. If he powers him, and he powers him, one, two, three, four, for a double GFI, there's just no way, is there? Maybe I over defended. He could come in there, he could one dice or two dice him. No, just one dice. It's not easy actually. Him making the and making the fucking removal of Sextus evens the numbers almost, doesn't it? I mean, he's got a big strength advantage, realistically. One dice him. Oh, two dice him. Alright, so two dice him. Don't I don't see where my blitz is unless it's uh, to hit this guy with a wolf.
Or one of these guys could play it, but why? One, two, three, four, double GFI. I mean, I'd, I'd have done it if it was uh, vaguely realistic. Got to be wary of the potato down this side now. Some pretty big stuns, pretty nice. I don't want to uphill block. <laughs> that seems just fucking dumb as fuck, doesn't it? So I guess it's a blitz here. <laughs> Pretty good blitz. You can block him. You can block him. Let's go back in the middle there. No balls. Well, to be fair, he had blocks, so... Um, oh, he had dodge, so yeah, I could have just taken the ball down. Yeah, fair enough. It's this one that's got block. It's going to make the white play this time. Yeah, I didn't want to take ball down. I think it was because I had to get the, vamp the white over this side, didn't I, to stop the, the potato down this side. I want I wanted the white central. But then it's just mine, yeah. Yeah, no, I I I don't I didn't want to say it both down there. I did think I did think the vamp had block though. <laughs> So, but even if I hadn't, no, I, I think you don't want to vote down it. Vote down on no balls is a funny meme, but I don't think it's a recipe for success. He's getting the point now where bloodlust would be pretty bad for him, isn't it? So at least he's taken away that, that option over that side. So not being able to GFI is really bad for the fucking movement four team, isn't it? Just quietly. He <laughs> does now have Sage's recommended vamp team, yeah. <laughs> now this time's where you want to put down on all balls, it isn't it? There's definitely times when you want to. Unfortunately, that was two of my fucking moving four players over there. Which isn't great. Oh man. One dice surf again? On a 3-3. 
three plus to be able to do it. It seems a bit kind of risky and stupid. <laughs> to be honest. Could GFI and then it'd be a one dice with block on the ball. I could just base him, base him, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could put one in front, blitz him, and base him there. But then he would just he would just blitz away, wouldn't he, and score? He can't score this turn anyway. So there's something to be said for not going nuts. Oh, get fucked. No, I rolled some good dice though, I'd have totally got the ball. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Would have killed the ball carrier with those dice. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I mean, that was the thing, wasn't it? It was not only was it getting the ball off him; it was also a fucking removal of of one of his two vampires. Maybe it was worth going for that dodge. But I don't know. When I did the other one dice surf, it was just no rolls to get the one dice, wasn't it? And now what's it, what it does is even achieve. He just fucking blitzes and runs down. And I don't get to stop him next turn. He's got his reroll. Now I should have done the serve. <laughs> He's finally learned. <laughs> Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, I should have just fucking served him. Well, I mean, I'm just... It was just fucking stupid, wasn't it? It was absolutely fucking stupid. That's why basing the ball is shit. And not something you should ever care about trying to do. That is it there. Yeah, but now it's like a three plus to one dice him. I'm 
instead of surfing it. Now I'm tilting, I guess. Because now I'm just pissed off at myself and I'm going for that last turn. It just, it was just dumb. This, it, you know, he was always going to make this one play, and I was always going to be unprepared for it. I'm just doing the same move as last turn, but without the fucking payoff. Roll the dice that would have served him, eh? Oh no, okay, better. Three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. <sighs> I shouldn't have stood him up, should I? One, two, three would have been the play. Shouldn't have stood him up, shouldn't have done the safe move first. Tilted. You could go four, five, six, seven, eight. If I stand here, he's got a dodge. I'll blitz with him. Which you can't really do. So it's worth making the GFI here. Alright, good. But dodging him out would have been better than that, wouldn't it? Way better. Don't have a canoring threat either. Now nah, I couldn't try to pick up because it would be a 3 plus to get there. And it could just be an absolute fuck up, couldn't it? The wolf's the only scoring threat now, probably, isn't it? And he might not even be able to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, the wolf. And this guy, maybe. Yeah. This white and this wolf are the only ones who can score. He can't score with him now, at least. Now there's only the white left who can score. Oh, he can just do it. Oh, fuck. That's a lot of rolls, though, isn't it, with a dodge? And the GFI's in the snow. Alright, good. Phew. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. The dog wants to go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, handoff. And then he wants to go to there. He would have to GFI, can't do anything. No, the wolf can just blitz. And then, uh. And the uh, white can pass it to him, can't he? One, two, three, four, five, six. Only 
if he goes to here, he blocks him. He goes up there, he blocks him. He's got a screen. Thing is, if I don't move him first, then if either one fails, I guess I don't go for the handoff if I fail the pickup. Maybe I should have moved him first. But I could have, you know, it was a one in nine. And then could have just ran to there and then moved him forward after. It's down to, uh, he's killed his own player. Did he come back for me? He's come back for me. Where's the uh, where's the fucking thing here? He's come back for me. He raised from the oh no, he regen. Duh. Thought I'd raised my own player again. Right. So is he in range? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A GFI for that zombie. It's possible though. Yeah, fail pickups are always a turnover. Oh, he's dead. Brilliant. Oh. Actually regenerated. Fucking hell, it's a fucking crazy game this one, isn't it? Just quietly. the pitch if you'd fail that. Oh wow, that's given us nothing. <laughs> oh, man, look at this guy with his fucking dodges. Guess I made few to hit people, but still, that one dice power on the thing was huge, wasn't it? Right. So, I can't blitz this guy. Well, double GFI, so it's a dodge. I can't even base him with anybody anyway. Could blitz this guy though. To make things a bit safer. Haha, <laughs> when I say safer, obviously I mean rolling dice that don't matter. To absolutely fuck myself is what I actually meant to say. Maybe you should have gone four. <laughs> the zombie could have scored, yeah, with the GFI. I couldn't get the golem on the ball, he couldn't even get on the ball.
That'd have been amazing, wouldn't it, if you just caught him? <laughs> uh, if I'd movement has gone range first, I couldn't have even thrown it to him, though. That's the thing, Super Man. And it'd be more chance of a of a fumble. But yeah, had it been not on not a blizzard, then yeah. Might have passed anyway. Uh, what was it? Was it a one? Uh, I'd have done the GFI as well if it wasn't a blizzard, but obviously. The blizzard fucked things up somewhat. He's got to roll some dice to score here, though, hasn't he? I'm fair, he's, he'd have to, like, pass it to him or something. Dot. Dot. <laughs> Thank you, Thor. <laughs> Thanks for the bits. That's it. They, they didn't work, did they? This fucking thing never works. He's got to, like, pass it to him. And then hand it off to him or something. It wasn't even Van Beers, it was fucking Thrall Beers. What a load of absolute bollocks that is. Just makes way more rolls than I did. Fucking bastard. But, see, but that's why I blitz the fucking vampire, right? Make it safer if it fails. Congratulations on losing this game to a shitty vampire team. Thanks, Zudona. <laughs> what a fucking job that is, isn't it? <laughs> Get better, yeah? Uh, that's valid, I fucked up, didn't I? First half. That's fucking bollocks, though, isn't it? He played fine, though. Kind of. Apart from getting his ball carrier served. <laughs> On multiple occasions if I had gone for it. Maybe I should have gone for the serve. Because it just I was always going to be in a shit spot next turn. I was running out of time to win. I probably should have gone for the serve that turn. Nah, it's chaos. It's chaos. So I'm just going to go... Uh, <coughs> I'm just gonna turn in a loop back. That's my uh that's my goal. There's no point in even making these blocks and delete the team. Right, I tried. Oh fucking hit he conceded. <laughs> right, and said. Uh, Stupid game. <laughs> you made more of your Oh, maybe they count the, uh, the. Maybe they count the bites. Maybe not, though. Maybe I just got absolutely fucked. No, 
Oh, so he only made seven AV breaks. So he failed nine bloodlusts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the, the nine AV breaks he counted is, is counted as bloodlust. That makes sense. To be fair, it didn't feel like I got that screwed. It was just the it was just the wolf death was was a killer, wasn't it? I guess if this is plus strength, keep the team. No, it's not. Pro this is a pro no, no, no. <laughs> gold block. But uh Oh god. What a lot of shit, eh? So the team's fucked now anyway. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.